Today's leadership image is one of my favorites. One of the earliest journals I read of my mom's um, from 1993, before I was born, had a quote in it that talked about library of people. One second. If you want to read these quotes, you can. Just pause the video and you can read them right here. I think it's a quote. This quote above is by Eleanor Roosevelt, but the part below it doesn't have a person quoted to it. Where do you go to learn more about something? Well, like at the beginning, you go to the library to learn more about something. But where do you go to learn not only from the library, that the library is knowledge in terms of connection and people's values, where do you go to connect with people? You must build for yourself a library of people. Right there. The first journal entry with some of these things, the date on it is December of 94. So I was born, but I was only a few months old when she, my mom wrote this. But ever since I saw that and thought about that idea of a library of people, I've been thinking about the value that we create in terms of the people around us and how we're connected to everybody and making sure that that pool of people is people with values close to mine and from diverse backgrounds. And I, I always focus on growing that and cherishing that and being grateful for that. Just as you can own a library of books with different people and role models, maybe in terms of like knowledge is one side of that, but maybe on the other side of that, there's people. If you can grow yourself a diverse library of books and knowledge and perspectives, maybe you can do the same in real life and as well as up here. There are a lot of cool analogies about people being books or opening new books or picking a book back up and being a different person or uh, like sharing books with people, sharing people's value, getting people to meet each other, connecting a book and a person a uh, very, very interesting analogy and parallel there. You can still learn a lot from both. I think the point is to have a library of people and a library of books. Just a fun metaphor, really. I'm pretty grateful for my library of people. I want to share the C.S. Eliot quote last because I think this is a really good one. It's the first page in this journal. May every soul that touches mine be of the slightest contact, get there from some good, some little grace, one kindly thought, one aspiration yet unfelt, one bit of courage for the darkening sky, one gleam of faith, to brave the thickening ills of life, a glimpse of brighter skies beyond the gathering mist, to make this life worthwhile. When in doubt, go to the library, and when in doubt, go to the library of people that you've built and continue to build. Keep being you, definitely, DFTBA, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody, Polka.